Hello, I'm Evan and I'm here to talk about the Hill People Gear Aston 3 backpack. If you don't know about Hill People Gear, we've been around since 2010. All of our gear is designed and tested here on the western slope of Colorado uh, with headquarters in Grand Junction and our, our gear is manufactured in Missouri uh, so it's U.S. manufacture, U.S. materials. The Aston 3 is the latest iteration of our uh, Aston House series of backpacks. Originally we had the Aston House, then we had the Aston House Backcountry. This has taken some of the lessons we've learned from both of those and it's the latest iteration. Uh, first of all, the external dimensions. It's 11 inches wide, 21 inches tall, 8 inches deep. That makes it a very convenient uh, airline carry-on size. It also makes it convenient for everyday carry. And at that height, it's just enough to get the weight off of your shoulders if you use one of our optional belts, either the recon belt or the prairie belt. But it runs uh, beltless just fine. It has a frame sheet, an HDPE frame sheet with dual 7075 series aluminum stays. So it's very load capable for the small size that it is. <clears throat> From a compression standpoint, we have uh, two full circumference side compression straps. These will allow you to attach large objects to the back. Uh, it's a great place to carry snowshoes. They're also removable. All the straps on this are removable. You can strip it down uh, for more of an everyday carry if you want to remove these straps. I'd leave the top straps and the bottom straps, and then the wand pockets help you out with that, which I'll get into in a moment. This pack is designed to accept any one of our back pockets. Uh, the PALS pocket, the admin pocket, any of those pockets. And that's accomplished by virtue of buckles that'll come in this, this pocket right here. And these buckles are repair buckles that will allow you to mate with the side compression buckles like so and clip into the pocket here. So again, any of our pockets will work with this pack. And of course you tie in the top straps and the bottom straps to the panel. Unlike the Aston House Backcountry, you have a couple of modes. You can do full free float, so you detach just all the straps and the thing would be on there floating. Also, the, the loops are here that allow you to do a semi-docked. So you can dock the, dock the bo bottom of the pocket so that it's not slipping down, but then the tops are still free floated. If you're going to do that, I would recommend reversing these bottom straps, which have the G-hooks on the other side. Uh, while I'm mentioning G-hooks, one thing that this pack has that's brand new to our lineup, G-locks. This is a patented uh, proprietary uh, little piece of Velcro one wrap that does a nice job of securing the G-hook G -hook buckles so that they don't, uh, aren't removed. Uh, that's designed by Steadfast Systems, and uh, we have the exclusive on it. So that's, those are in place here and then on the bottom straps as well, which makes it nice. So um, moving, moving on, we have a small pocket here. Uh, incidentally, all of the zippers on this are number 10. We wanted this to be usable as an assault pack uh, for uh, military usage. So even the very smallest of the pockets is a number 10 zipper. That's the best zipper we can get. And it's gonna take a long time for that zipper to fail. So you have the small top pocket, a Velcro loop for name identifier, unit patches, whatever. And then you have the side entry uh, pocket that's this, this uh, depth and width here. Uh, so between those two, you can get, uh, even for like an everyday carry standpoint, you can get most of your little stuff in there quite nicely. It does have the side carry handle for uh, carry on use if you want to carry it more like a suitcase it can certainly do that and while we're here I'll talk about the wand pockets on this thing so uh, first of all you'll notice that like all Hill People gear packs uh, the water bottle is captured by the compression straps that's how they're designed it works very well if you can't be bothered to unbuckle a strap to get your water bottle that's fine you can just run the strap underneath it and allow the tension created by this adjustable depth pocket 
So what's neat about these pockets, uh, yes, they can expand and contract based on the size of the water bottle or not to use a water bottle at all. But if you want to use this in EDC mode and really compress the depth, uh, you know, if you'd remove these side straps and just use the tops and bottoms, this will over compress that bottom. If you cinch that all the way tight, it compresses the entire lower third of the backpack. And of course I have it stuffed with more stuff so it's not, it's not doing that that well. And then this extra you just tuck into the pocket, it doesn't get in the way. Um, if for some reason this loop bothers you and you think it's going to get caught on stuff, you could undo the knot and just do single knots. Um, either way, it's going to be tucked away. If you really have to, yes, you can just tie paracord around the top strap and be able to compress it that way. Uh, so at any rate, that is the wand pockets, and as you can see, there's a lot of volume to them, and then they'll compress whatever it is that you put into them. Uh, moving inside, well, actually, we'll talk about access. So this is a panel loading pack, which is not necessarily uh, my favorite, but it does have its uses. So. Uh, you know, that's good for any time you want to open the whole thing up and have it all loaded out on the inside. What we've retained from the Aston House Backcountry that's useful is, yes, I can open it like this, just suitcase style, and do my loadout. Uh, the other thing that we've retained is this, this access here. And the neat thing about that is that it almost makes it a top loader, particularly anything that you have attached on the inside you want to get to, you can go like that. So like in my case, I've got my big old sniper cam or sniper lens for my camera sitting right in here. It's in an organizer bucket uh, that's we haven't introduced yet, but we'll have. It's a really large organizer bucket just for lenses. So I can, if I need to switch lenses on my camera, pull this thing out via this without disturbing the rest of my load. And that's true of anything that you have stored on the inside. You can see here that I have uh, one of our tool rolls as my first aid kit. Both of these things are docked to the back. The uh, compression side on the interior is completely lined with the uh, 612 Velcro loop laminate. It will take any Velcro back pouches. It'll also take any Molle Pals pouches as well. So you can organize all of your heaviest stuff, your most important stuff, right next to the frame and any of the uh, quick access stuff that you need via this this zipper you just have at the top. There is a single uh, heavily bar tacked hang loop. If you want to carry uh, water internally in a bladder you can certainly do so then you just run the hose out wherever you want here via the double zippers. So that's um, that's the interior. There's nothing else on the interior that's it. Uh, the other thing these really long top straps, if you have this thing fully loaded, you can definitely, there's enough of a shelf to put a large load, like a bedroll or something on top of this. And again, at this frame height, as this 21 inch frame height, if you can fit your gear in here and put a belt on it, legitimately you can do overnights, even multi-day trips, and the ability to plus up by going upwards, um, and even outwards too, if you like, um, is, is very helpful. Okay, for those of you who are asking where the, uh, the panel went, we do have a new panel, the Aston 3 panel, and it has the same spacing as this pack and all of our other packs. So that's the new thing about the panel. It didn't really match with anything. I know people have used the panel for a long time on our other packs, but as far as the spacing on that panel, the uh, compression strap spacing. It didn't match anything but the Aston House backcountry or the Aston House. The new Aston panel looks identical, but it'll match this, it'll match the Ute, it'll match the Umlindi, um, it'll match the Quia. Any one of those packs you want to put that panel on, including this one, you can do that. Uh, I don't know that we're going to do the Aston pocket again, uh, simply because the admin pocket is a much better choice for that kind of thing. And again, this will work with any Hill People Gear pocket, including the admin pocket. Uh, some other detailing that you might notice, uh, we've moved to two-tone harnesses, or we're in the process. Since this is a brand new pack for us, this gets all the good stuff, so it has those little G-lock um, G-hook keepers. It also has a two-tone shoulder harness. That's true of the Ranger khaki pack, and also the, um, the 
elk brown and coyote pack those also are going to have the two-tone shoulder harness so that you know while still being an earth tone definitely uh, makes that more civilian looking we are uh, currently stocking this in the uh, the ranger green khaki the elk brown coyote um, and also the the manatee and foliage we'll definitely be doing runs of solid coyote for military use and perhaps some other colors as always you go on our website uh, to see what colors are available. If it's got a little plus sign next to the color, that means it's not a standard stocking, so you might have to wait a while. Um, and then right there on the website, if you're out of stock, you know, if you try to select a color and it's out of stock, you just sign up for an email list. We're always getting more inventory in and emails go out to everyone uh, as soon as we put that inventory in. So um, if you're waiting for a special color, get on the list. We look at those lists to figure out which colors to produce. If I got 50 people waiting for multicam, I'll definitely be doing a multicam run, maybe even less than 50 people. So uh, that's something to um, keep an eye on. Uh, at any rate, back to the pack. I've pretty much covered all of the features. Uh, just a quick review. This is all uh, 500 Denier Cordura, uh, number 10 YKK zippers. It's a good size for everyday carry. It's a good carry-on size. It'll make a fine assault pack. Um, it's uh, light overnighters. So if you're somebody who really likes a panel loader, this is the biggest panel loader in our lineup and might be the kind of utility player that you're looking for uh, as far as a pack. And of course it has the uh, Hill People Gear uh, load carriage, which uh, we've, you know, over time we've earned a reputation for being some of the most comfortable packs that you can carry under load. And this is no exception. Uh, so once again, the uh, Hill People Gear Aston 3 Backpack, and you can find that at hillpeoplegear.com and some retailers. We have European retailers. We have some uh, bricks and mortars here in the state, depending upon whether or not they choose to stock this. Um, but that is, that is the Aston 3 Backpack. I'll get that untwisted, get it all prettied up for a final parting beauty shot. Um.